2020 is really a year for the history books. COVID-19 has changed so much about our everyday lives. But the thing to remember is that we're all in this together. So it's understandable that sometimes we're gonna all feel sad, we're gonna have fear, but we don't have to dwell in those feelings because everyone is going through the same things. In Baltimore, in Maryland, in the United States and across the world, we are all in this crisis together. And we are all at risk for getting the virus since we have learned that people who are well could be carriers of the virus. So preventing the spread of the virus is the only way that we can protect ourselves, our families, and our community. Prevention includes stay at home as much as you can. It's more vital than ever that you stay at home when you are sick. Wear a mask when you leave your home. Stay six feet away from other people and wash your hands a lot. Everyone, including the young and the old, must take these steps to prevent getting or spreading COVID-19. It is important to protect ourselves physically from the virus. Also have to focus on not allowing this pandemic to affect our mental health. As we stay at home to protect ourselves, many people start to feel isolated and lonely. That is why it is so important to remain socially connected, but from a distance. Pick up the phone and call a family member or a friend. There's no better time than to be involved in social media. People are finding clever ways to deal with COVID-19 and the isolation and staying at home. You can do things, you can take time to show others that you're thinking of them. You can write a message to your neighborhood and put it in your window. One of the things that I've done is write letters to everyone that I normally don't have time to tell how much I love. And I think another thing that's really important is it's time now to use your creativity. Do you know that you can make a mask out of a simple sock? These are the kinds of things that we have to do to fill our time and make sure that we keep our spirits lifted. Control what you can and let go of things you have no control of. Pay attention to negative thinking. Negative thinking can make anxiety worse. Keep things in perspective and remember, this is only temporary. Get the facts from a reliable source and avoid watching too much news or reading too much newspaper. Manage your reactions closely. Stay calm and stay focused on your family and yourself. Get support from your family and friends and take care of yourself. What that means is eating well, sleeping well, and getting a little exercise every day, even if it's a walk around the block. Take breaks from thinking about the virus and occupy your mind with things that you enjoy and find pleasure in. And remember, this will end. So the good news is that this too will end. This will come to an end, and when it does, we'll all be stronger and better for it. We're all in this together, and together, we will get through it. Be safe, be well, and don't forget your mask.